This is the ring that I'm working on right now behind my bench, behind the scenes. This is an absolutely gorgeous round diamond, colorless, set in my signature seamless halo. But this particular halo is a cushion shape around the round diamond. So everything has been created to be very micro fit next to that diamond in terms of the measurements. So we scan the diamond, make sure that all the measurements line up perfectly with the shape of the halo to ensure that there are no unsightly gaps. And that's gonna really maximize the amount of sparkle. This is called the Mitchell method of making sure that it's absolutely spectacular, just that extra plus of brilliance. And I am so excited for Frankie to receive this ring on Thursday. In a couple days, actually, she's gonna be having this on her finger. So right now, as a diamond setter, I'm going to be setting the center diamond. What I've already done so far is I've laid down the prongs, and now I have to sculpt them with my files that have been custom created to make sure that I don't damage the center diamond when I'm actually putting the file against the diamond. So, I can't wait for her to see the final result. These sleek claw prongs are gonna be flowing in line with the facets of that center diamond. So they're basically gonna be mimicking that triangular shape to just be very, very, you know, almost, almost disappear into the diamond instead of being these round blobs of metal that you traditionally see. This absolutely gorgeous colorless diamond is going to be set into my custom seamless halo setting. This cushion halo has been built exclusively for this center diamond. So on the diamond, you'll see there's a little blue dot right there, and that is going to match up next to this little blue dot on this diamond here. That will eventually be polished away. But for now, the seat has been cut perfectly to align with these two facets on the diamond here and this facet on the setting that I've custom cut to match the facet underneath this diamond. So it's gonna be the most perfect seamless set. Oh my gosh, just take a look at this halo and how it blends in with this perfect diamond. It's completely seamless. It looks absolutely gorgeous and the sparkle effect is going to be huge. A high polish has already been applied to the setting so I protect the setting with using some masking tape here and then eventually that will be removed. So right now I'm going to take this center diamond and I'm going to set it inside this seat here. I'm going to line up the dot where I've created on the outer halo with the dot that is meant right there for that facet and they're gonna line up so that way the facets of the north, south, east, west are gonna line up perfectly with that halo. And as you can see, that seamless halo for that round diamond, it's absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to show this design to Frankie. She is gonna absolutely be floored. And I create custom diamond rings for clients all over the world. And one of the designs that I specialize in is that round diamond in a cushion halo, because there are a lot of factors to consider when making sure that it's that most tight, seamless fit to really maximize the overall brilliance of the ring. Now this is a pretty large diamond, so we don't have to be trying too hard as far as the halo making it a certain size, but every diamond has been proportionally designed to fit against this diamond to have the brightest sparkle and the most tight seamless fit. This is the Mitchell method where I set the diamonds incredibly tight together, precision fit, so that way they are practically touching and it is going to result in an absolutely stunning ring. And now I'm gonna take these prongs, I'm gonna lay them flat over the diamond and create these very sleek claw prongs. Now what these sleek claw prongs are gonna do, they're gonna blend in with the facets of the diamond because they are gonna look like these very thin triangular claws rather than round blobs of metal, which is seen on traditional mass manufactured rings. The craftsmanship on a piece like this is what takes it to an incredible level above all custom mass manufactured rings. So if you'd like to work one-on-one -on -one with a master diamond setter, I would love to hear what you're looking to create and we will work one-on-one -on -one to create the ring of your dreams. Now this particular diamond has a couple of inclusions. Now you cannot see them with your naked eye, but under the microscope, I can see them. So what I like to do is I like to rotate the diamond so that way I can hide those inclusions under a prong if it works for the particular setting. So that's something that I like to keep in mind as an upgrade for my clients to be able to really hide those inclusions and ensure that nothing will be visible to the naked eye. So right now I'm in the process of bending over these prongs. I go one and one and then one and one just to make sure that it's even all the way around. I wanna make sure that this base of the prong is actually hugging the girdle of the diamond, which is the outermost point of the diamond. Because if you just 
go at it from this angle here at the top of the prong and bend it over, then the diamond can actually be loose underneath those prongs. So you wanna make sure that the diamond is being hugged by the base of those prongs and then you can lay down the prongs on top when, when I'm creating these sleek claw prongs. So this is something that I take into consideration when we're doing the sleek claw prongs because I wanna make sure that there is metal touching at all points on top of that diamond. I don't want there to be gaps. And then I sculpt them by hand to really make sure that each one is absolutely even, perfect, and very sleek to flow in line with the facets of the diamond. and I'm gonna show you the final result right now. Dear Vanessa, when we opened the ring, all we could say is wow, perfection. We absolutely love this gorgeous ring. I can't stop looking at it and John keeps taking my hand to have another look. He loves it just as much as I do. The seamless halo, wow! I can't believe how you set the small diamonds on the halo so close to the center stone and how the prongs just seem to fade away. Thank you. We truly appreciate all of your hard work and attention to detail that you put into this ring. You are a true rock star. Lots of hugs go out to you from your new North Carolina fans, Frankie and John. So good. I love my ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, it, look at that. I, I mean, I'm just sitting here in a dark room and it just sparkles. It's, oh, it's that is so beautiful. I love how it sparkles. That's just, oh, that's yeah, so it, it, Every day, I, John goes, are you looking at that ring again? <laughs> you know what? It's it's never looked this beautiful. It's you are a master. You are. Oh, amazing. how does it how does it feel to wear a ring knowing that it was custom made exclusively for you? No one in the world oh. has one just like it. Well, Vanessa, I, that's why I look at it all the time. I, I'm in awe of how you did this. You can't even see the prongs when you just look at the ring. It looks like it's a halo diamond that's what it looks like because you've gotten the, the stones are perfectly matched the prongs i had looked to see if they i really got myself a magnifying glass to make sure there was prongs in there but it is just so beautiful and you know i was a dental lab tech so i appreciate what you do because i worked with metals too i made teeth is what i did but it was just an awe how a piece of jewelry the diamonds can be set it's so beautiful thank you you're just a warm friendly person, so outgoing. And to think that you actually made this for me was very special. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So did you have any hesitations about working with a jeweler across the country, not having oh, me? Oh side yeah. By side? <laughs> oh yeah. You know, I did. You were the kind of the person who I would go back and I would show pictures up to my jeweler of what you were doing. Yeah. So. I mean, I think that's one of the biggest concerns is that you know what you want, but then whether or not the jeweler can translate your vision into the design, similar to how you're, the first jeweler that you worked with, you expressed what you wanted, but the final result, did it look I was very, I was very gun shy, you know, because what had happened before, I mean, it was kind of a shock and it was hard for me to think, maybe no one's gonna understand what I really want. Yeah. Uh, how did you and John meet? I don't know if we actually talked about that Oh, way geez. back because we talked about your anniversary, but I don't know if we actually talked about the original. We met, in, we met when John was in dental school, and I was a lab tech at the oh. dental school at Iowa. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Yeah. So uh, I was over a gold crown. Actually, I used to get to do all the work for the junior and senior dental students, and so he was one of those junior students that came into the lab and had me do the work for him. And we just we um, I don't know. We just were friends first, and. We eventually started to date, and uh, it was a long time ago, Vanessa. It's 47 years ago. <laughs> oh, it's such an inspiration, though. Oh my gosh! I mean, I'm going on 22 years now. I should, I should probably know that, but over 20 yeah. years, I feel like <laughs> I can say that at least. And um, yeah, it's it. When I hear someone say that they've been together 45 years, and my parents were together 50 years, it's just it's one of those things where you think oh, I love the inspiration and it truly, it's amazing.
Yeah. Yeah. And I celebrate my 70th birthday this year. So it was pretty, this was kind of a special, this ring was special that way too, because it was finished right before my 70th birthday. Wow. Oh, and, happy birthday. Yeah, well, you know, it was worth the wait though, Vanessa. It was definitely worth the wait. <laughs> I wish you could have seen us when we opened it. I know. Because <laughs> we, I waited for John to come home and, uh, we, we, he just kept on grabbing my hand and he was taking, <laughs> taking a good look and so oh. it was pretty exciting. Oh, that's so wonderful. What did you do when you were finished with this? <laughs> what did, I mean, did, oh, weren't you excited? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because... Vanessa, it's just, it's just beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it is. I mean, I just, I just, I do. I look at it too much. <laughs> I guess, you know, <laughs> you know, it's like, this is the way it needed to be. Yeah. We did. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, every single stage that I was making the ring, I thought, oh, Frankie's going to love this. And then I'd get the diamond set. And I'm like, oh, she's really going to love this. And then I would get to the heart of the ring and I would set it. And I thought, oh, she's going to love this. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it just, it sparkles all the time. It oh. just doesn't stop. You know, I'm getting the airplane when sometimes you get the, you'll get the, us wine John with it a little bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's beautiful. Oh, it is. Thank you. If you're looking to create your very own custom seamless halo ring, feel free to reach out to the studio, vanessanicole.com, and I would love to learn more about what you're looking to make. I know that if you've already made it this far, you probably really value high quality craftsmanship and also working with someone who really cares about the outcome of your ring. That is so important to me to make sure that you get exactly what it is that you are looking to make. And this is obviously my life's work, my dream job, essentially. I've been in this industry for over 20 years and I absolutely love every single ring that I make for each client. It is. It's, it really is um, very rewarding for me as an artist to see the final result and also hear about the result of each client once it's on her finger. So feel free to reach out to the studio, vanessanicole.com, and I look forward to working with you soon. All right, bye-bye.